did they serve and where did they serve? Is the room to our left, the old dining room, is this where they served the meals then? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, that's a, that's a room. Okay. And how did they set the... We were kind of a hospital here for a while. You know. I had heard they that. had a nurse here. I think her name was... Uh, I can't think of her name. Earlier. Was she here then? Well, who ran the Shaboma College? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know. Um, Hamilton? Hamilton. I had heard her name. She was in the war. Yeah. She was, uh, wasn't she a prisoner of war or something? She ended up in the war. Was she a prisoner or something? Seemed like there's something well, special. I haven't changed idea about that, but she was quite a girl around here. Maybe they just, she was in the, hmm. in the war. I think her name was Elizabeth. 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 Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hammond. And she was the nurse here at that time, yes. 19, between 1937 and 1941. She was going to hospital, too, you know, that, uh, in the Great Northern, that they had a simple cut or something like that. Mm -hmm. They brought you here instead of taking you to the Green Line. Okay. Now, did they treat you on the second floor or right here on this floor? I never got treated here. No, but I mean, if you had an injury or something, what part of the building in the lodge did they treat you, right where you were at, or? I think it was right, it was like a cut foot or a cut hand or mm -hmm. broken arm or something. They done it right there, right in, the, right in the front room. Right in the front room. That's yeah. the living room now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The. Um, can you remember some of the the cooks and the staff that was here? I know you remember your wonderful wife, your girlfriend. I know she probably occupied most of your time, but do you remember some of the other folks between you and Gloria that were well, here? I remember Big Steve and Big Steve oh. and Melon. What about that big guy? And then there were two or three other fellows that cooked Steve. here. And a couple of women cooks, but I can't remember their name. The cook was Steve, wasn't it? Now, did they, did they vacate this building? On the weekend, or were the people here all the time? There were people here steady. Okay. A lot of people would go. Some of them would go home on the weekend. Yeah. By the truck drivers and. Oh yeah, like I went. Thing. I went to Greenwood weekends and everything. After my mother died, I was here most of the time. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and you, when you worked on the road, were you uh, you did all the job in reference to the road, or did you have one particular specialty that was yours, or? What kind of work did you do, so to speak? Truck. You, oh, you were a truck driver? <coughs> yeah, for a while. What truck did you have? What year was the truck and what kind of truck was it? Do you remember? 39 Ford. 39 Ford. I got in a dish down here one day and the fellow hooked on the axle and pulled the front end right over my knee. <laughs> a few potholes? <laughs> weird, weird, weird times. Ask for him. He's had. <laughs> 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 now. Um, I was most unpopular a lot of times, you know. Why? I can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was my understanding, and Dale was the one that asked you this question, so I'm going to let Dale ask you the question about there was. You, the two of you, lay his. Let me yes. see. Get this right. How did that work? The two brothers and. No, no they're cousins. Okay, explain that to me. How did you meet this lovely gentleman? And what, if you can recall a little bit about the first. Well, I don't time remember that, so I, I, I can't say anything. Mm -hmm. But maybe your wife does. Well, he was. He was. Of course, I waited on tables, and he was sat with the men. Congregant, you know, for the big shots. We had two tables. See, one of them were the clerks, and the, uh, so that, the, and the nurse and the telephone operator and all that had one table. And then there was a table with the peons. <laughs> and he was sitting there, and I asked who he was, and I was told me. And I said, Tweedy, what kind of a name is that? <laughs> and I ended up with him. You found out, didn't you? Yeah, I found out. <laughs> now, your cousin's name, you guys are cousins? Yeah. Uh, his father. His father? Was here also, and, and Eleanor was here. 
Okay. They were cousins, Tom and my husband were cousins. Oh, okay. They were cousins. They were cousins. Now, Eleanor, were you, okay, you were here as a waitress at that time, too? Yes. Okay. And can you recall what you thought of these two gentlemen when they came in that day? She liked the tall man. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I remember them coming in together. I didn't know either one of them, and I don't know if Gloria, maybe Gloria had seen, seen them before, I don't know. But uh, I, don't know. I thought they were pretty nice for themselves, and they were really, both of them are quite handsome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I said to Gloria, I'll take the tall one. <laughs> and uh, she did. And she did. I did, and she took the... the the next to the tall. <laughs> I was going to say, the did. Tom looks pretty tall. He was tall, but the string was tall. I was drunk. I sweat for three inches. Oh, my goodness. I used also used to weigh 212 pounds instead of this bony frame you see here. You must have uh, had to duck for the... Uh... <coughs> I didn't, but string did. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Okay, so you're talking really tall people. Yeah, I'm only six foot. Now, so your husband was about six three. That's why he's six feet three too. Wow! Wow! And my other son is also. I remember one John, time the fall of the day with Peter Well, he's a little bit short. Short, he's six two. He come down from Fisher Depot. Uh huh. He got a load of gas with a tractor and a tank behind it. 22 Caterpillar, a drill tractor. And I think he had 1,300 gallons of gas on it. And he struck back up the hill. He couldn't make the hill. So he got off of the tractor, unhooked the sled, and was going to put a button chain on it so he could bunt it over. Gas tank ended up in, what the hell is the name of that brook? <laughs> 1,300 gallons of gas went down the brook, you know. <laughs> Max Hilmer said, he come up, said, I hope you got your knapsack all packed. She just says, I have. <laughs> he got canned right there. That was the end of his illustrious career, I take that it, yeah. Was, no, he, worked, he ended up as uh, superintendent of the Great Northern Shop. <laughs> For goodness sakes. He was a smart man, but he, unfortunately, he unhooked that thing, that thread, at the wrong time. And just a little enough pitch that it took off. Lane broke. Lane broke? It went down Lane broke. Okay. I upset a car right there one time. <laughs> what did you folks do up here um, in the evening for just kind of leisure time? Play cribbage. Cribbage. Cribbage plays. Yeah. Yeah. Cribbage is still played today. We still play a lot of cribbage up here. Yeah. Uh, cribbage. It still does. Uh, played that way since I was 12 years old. Yeah. And who's the better cribbage player, you or your wife? I was going to tell you something else, but I guess I better not. Why not? <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs>